Hi everyone, this is Alex Arvizu. I left Albania more than five years ago, but I have so many fond memories of, uh, of my time there and the time of my family there. And those include um, summer days spent down south, enjoying the sun, enjoying the beach, enjoying the great food. So when Florida told me that all of you would be in Yala this coming week, um, and asked if I would send a short message, I said, absolutely. So first and foremost, uh, I hope all of you and all of your families are safe, that everyone is in good health and enjoying the summer as much as you can. Those of you who know me, uh, know me as uh, an optimistic person, but I have to tell you that uh, lately it's been very hard. Um, it's been a really difficult year. It's been a, a really tough summer. Right now we've got uh, wildfires uh, raging out of control in California. But of course the biggest challenge has been this global pandemic, which has hit the United States especially hard. Um, more than 170,000 people have uh, died here as a result of uh, this pandemic and the number is growing every day. Um, millions of people have lost their jobs, uh, businesses have closed down, schools have closed as well. In addition to the pandemic, um, over the summer in hundreds of cities and towns across the United States, there were and occasionally continue to be um, fairly large scale protests. Um, you've seen the videos, I'm sure. And some of the protests were regrettably uh, violent. But I want you to know, and, and please understand this, that the vast majority of the protests, the vast majority of the protesters were very peaceful. And the reason for the protests was quite simply um, a cry for social justice, specifically to uh, speak out against systemic racism, which has long been a huge problem in our country, and it's a problem that is still with us today. And for me, I want you to know that I believe very strongly that Black Lives Matter. And I also believe in the saying, no justice, no peace. Without justice, there really can be no peace. So difficult times for sure. But I believe uh, with all my heart that uh, we will work to make things better and that things will get better. Um, it's going to require a lot of love and compassion and understanding, but also courage and conviction, the willingness to fight um, for the things that you believe in. And this is something that all Albanians understand, um, that sometimes um, you have to fight for what you believe in. I do want to end on a positive note. Some of you will remember our daughter. Well, she's 13 now. And recently, she comes up to me and she'll say, Daddy, Daddy, when are we going back to Albania? And I'll say, what do you remember about Albania? And she said, I remember everything. Well, I don't believe that for a minute. But she really wants to go back to visit, and so do I. Um, and so I told her, who knows, you know, if things get better, maybe we can go back next summer. I mean, it is going to be the 30th anniversary of, um, of the reestablishment of relations between the United States and Albania after all those years of estrangement. So summer 2021 in Oricum or Drimade or Velopoya or Yala. Who knows, right? In the meantime, take care of yourselves, take good care of each other. Remember to fight for what you believe in and above all, um, look after your families, especially during these dangerous times. Thank you for letting me be part of your week and um, I miss you all. We'll see you again, bye.